Today we are going to finish our fantasy outer space landscape. You will see that we will cut out a variety of circles for our planets. We will add shading to the planets to make them look more three-dimensional and then we will add kind of space rocks down at the bottom. Again, adding some black lines to give it more of a dimension. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper that we created last week. You are going to trace circles on the back. So on your table you're going to get a box with a variety of different shapes or a variety of different circle sizes. Big ones, medium, and little ones. You are going to have to share as I do not have enough for everyone to have one. So I'm going to start and I'm going to kind of look at my paper to see, okay, I definitely want some green, some purple, some darker purple on my planet. So I'm going to kind of space out where I do my planets. I'll do probably only one big one. couple medium ones. A really little one. Maybe I'll do one down here because I want green. I would say you want about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I want about six, five to six different sizes and different planets. Then you are going to cut them out. You do want to save the extra paper as we do need to add the detail at the bottom. So you're going to start by cutting them out. Once you've cut them all out, then you are going to start gluing them to your space background. Now you'll see I have one big one in the corner. I'm going to have a variety of them, different sizes. I think I will do some overlapping so one looks like it's in front of the other. You do not need a lot of glue. I'm just going to go around in a circle, not too close to the edges. I don't want it to come out as I press down. You are going to have to hold these for about 10 seconds to make sure that they do stay. I'll hold it down. So they do stay. And then a little one. Now to do your rocks down at the bottom, you're going to use your leftover scraps you will kind of use the edges to do your scraps. You can, do, you can see I've done kind of just a random shapes. And you're just going to kind of start cutting what you think you want at the bottom. You'll want to do some overlapping, kind of maybe a cone shape. Lots of different shapes you can do. Gonna, trying to get a variety of different colors, kind of different shapes. And then I will go ahead and also glue those so that they are overlapping. Again, you don't need a ton of glue. You are going to probably have to hold it down so that doesn't come up. You want to cover the entire bottom. We are not quite done. We need to add the shadow to make our planets and our rocks look more three-dimensional. So you're going to be using a black oil pastel. And you're going to start, you're going to choose one side to do for all of your planets. You don't want to be switching sides. I'm just going to do a thin line to the left. Then I'm going to take my finger and kind of smooth it out, 
bring some of the black out so it looks more gradual. I'll do the same thing. To all of my planets, again, notice how I'm doing it all on the left side, or you could do it all on the right side, but you want to stay consistent. Once you're done with all the planets, then you're going to go down to the rocks and again add more detail. So I may give it kind of a little outline. and then add some lines. There's not really a wrong or right way to do this. Whatever you think it would look like is what you can draw. And you will do all these lines and do shadows to all the planets until you are all done with your fantasy outer space landscape.